Hey guys, Sally here from Balance Beauty in Melbourne and today I just want to show you how you can transform your day wear makeup application into a night evening wear application. This is really good for Friday night drinks after work or you're attending dinner and you just want something a little bit heavier. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So this is what I've had during the day and to the end of the day. So I'm just going to show you how to make it a little bit heavier and nicer for evening wear. So I'm just applying some more of my mineral base. This is Skin 02 Caramel. Just real quickly, just to provide a beautiful, natural, darker coverage. Always get a little bit pink in the cheeks, so a little bit more there. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the brows. So again, the scar wand, fix them up a little bit. Skin 02, love this stuff. Angle brush. Now the reason I'm going darker on the brows is because I'm going to put more base on my eyelids so I want them to be darker. Now with your eyelids you can do whatever colours you like but I tend to do or tend to go with the colours that I'm wearing. all about the brows okay so I'm going to highlight again I like to use my white so white with my little brush underneath can you see that on the top love highlighting the top I just feel that it makes my brows look longer Okay, so today I've just had a beige on my eyelids, a bit of liquid eyeliner and a little bit underneath and mascara. So I'm just going to go over the top of that with my colours. I'm going to go with white. So white on the eyelids. And I'm just going to go over my beige. So it's not going to look white white, but it's going to change my eye makeup application and also make it a little bit more sp sp smoky, that's my word. Just really quick. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to mix them. I'm going to use a natural brown and a black and I'm just going to go in the outer corners of the eye just to make them a little bit heavier for an evening wear makeup application. Okay, so brush like this. So it's a bit like um, a fan and it's just really good to get into the corners and to almost like a window, what are they called? Windscreen wipers. So it's just gonna go in like that and around and I'm gonna show you. So I've got my brown and my black. We know how much I love that. And I'm just dabbing a little bit of brown, a little bit of black, excess, and I'm gonna go in and show you. So close your eyes or open them. It's actually a better application if you're comfortable and confident to open them, not like this. Just relax so you can go into the crease like I'm doing. 
bit underneath to make it a little bit more smoky. Bit more. Now, if you're wanting to go night clubbing or you want to go out, way more heavier. Oh, each to their own, but I like to go heavier. Other side. Tap the excess. So with this corner like that, can you see? And then our special wipers. And I've gone too high there and you can see straight away because it's made my eyes smaller. So we get our blending brush. Blend is the key. So the corner, wipers, and then what I tend to do now with my white is blend it. Bit more color. And straight away we've done the two colors, heavier application and a little bit of a smoky eye. Yeah, because all the eyeshadows have gone over my eyeliner, we're going to do that again. Okay. With your liquid eyeliners, you can use your pen, you can use your pot, you can use crayon, you can use pencil. Whatever you have, whatever you like. I've got my little pot and I'm going to use my angle brush. And I'm just going to pop it in like so. Love the angle brushes. They just give me more of a glide and a slip and more of a um, fine line look. Always starting more in the... Always start from there and work out because then I can make it higher and flick out and even do the flick for the slick, bold eyeliner look. But I'm only going to go half. Other side. Great. So now underneath, I'm going to use my Pencil. This is more of a crayon. I love it. So easy. Just to pop on and blend it in. Now I'm going to go in there just to give my eye a little bit of a um, white pop. It's awesome. Pencil. You have to be confident and comfortable with this because when you're putting something in your eye, it can freak you out. So finger, pull down, gently, gently. Blend it in. And with my white brush, I use my white again just so I can blend it. And make that sort of look. Can you see that? So it's not like a drawn white look, it's blended in to the white. Now we're going to conceal these eyes. Skin 02, perfect concealer, love this, it's creamy, it's not too heavy. I'm just going to use my fingers, especially after a day of work, you know, you can get tired and you don't want to look like that when you go out. Really good tip 
to get right in there because we tend to be a little bit more blue in there. So I can blend that in. Now if I was really going out and I really want to look amazing, I'd do my cheeks, a few blemishes and a few areas, but because we want to be quick, I'm just going to take a laugh when you do that. A little bit of mascara, Skin 02, fake lash mascara. Can't you just tell I love Skin 02? Because we've had eyeshadow on them, it's the end of the day. We just want another quick coat just to enhance our eyes and our lashes. My zigzag technique from the inner to the out. And when we're in a hurry, we tend to put mascara like I just done on my eyelid and I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. Just with my brush. Beautiful. So I'm going to bronze all over. I'm feeling I'm a little bit pink, so I'm just going to put a bit more on. I like to put concealer on after I put my base because I just find it just stays on longer and it sets. But again, each of their own. Makeup's creative, you can do what you like. Okay, bronze. I'm gonna bronze all over. So T-zone. Cheeks, smile, not too close. Again, T-zone a bit. A little bit of, um, no, I don't think I need pink too much. Um, my shimmer, illuminator. <sighs> Love them. Again, I'm going to do a little bit on the forehead just to give me a little bit of, I don't know, a luminous look. Upper cheeks. So we're contouring naturally. I'm going to put a little bit, and sometimes I like to put a bit. And bronzer, especially if I'm wearing a low cut top on the decolletage. Always blend your base to your neck to your decolletage. Always. And I'll put a little bit of shimmer illuminator. And we can't forget lippy. I'm going to go with red because I'm wearing this and I'm going out just saying black. Messy. Can't rush these things. Do you see? <laughs> see, we're only human. We all make mistakes. Sorry, guys. Fix that right up. But see, in a few steps, we've just created an evening look application. So, guys, if you have any questions, please comment, message, um, share, like. That would be awesome. And I hope you like the video. I hope it's not too long. And um, take care. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.